Hello, my name is Robert Hansen, and I will be doing another reading of my writing. Act Two, Six Months into Rodney's New Life. Boxes of Rodney's belongings from his past were still packed. His new apartment remained very fresh, continuing to look as though it had never been moved in. But he had lived at the apartment for more than a few months now. Now having developed a new interest and even a taste for writing, Rodney instead focused on his writings. The boxes can wait, he thought to himself. Just then, Gloria entered the kitchen area where he was diligently working. How's the settlement coming along? She asked in earnest. Slow. Steve Johnson thinks it's a slam dunk. He's saying maybe disbarment for the putts prosecutor, even jail time. The prosecutors wanted to set an example, and unfortunately, they found me, Rodney explained. They can rot for all I care. They destroyed my life. Gloria quickly approached Rodney to kiss him to offer comfort, and thus calming him. What are you working on, dear? She asked while placing her arm around him in an effort to change the subject. I'm just reading a poem. I've been working off and on for the past few years. Would you like to hear it? I would love that. Now that we have a big time writer in the family, she said jokingly, as she prepared to listen to him recite it. I have a new life, and I promise you I'm not that I'm not screwing this one up, Rodney excitedly stated to his formerly separated wife, Gloria, as he was readying himself to read it. Okay, I'm ready. Can you read it for me? Gloria requested. Neatly placing his papers down on the coffee table, before the one with the poem, he cleared his throat and began reading. A mere man, I am not. Life, so fragile and temporary. Death, so unbreakable and permanent. I am alive, yet I do not live. I am dead, yet I can move. Fear of the unknown. Trust in expected certainty. What does all this mean? I look. I stare. I watch. I take notice, and I take heed. There are warnings all around me. There is, ha there is apprehension throughout me. There is despair deep in within me. What does all this mean? What am I supposed to do? What has just transpired? I seek out that which is most familiar. I take comfort in that which is most inviolable. I experience that which is most critical. For I am more than a mere man. For I am more than my own circumstances. For I am more than the objects around me. I am that which cannot be killed. This is your best work, hands down. I love it, she exclaimed. I began writing this two years ago, when I'd nearly given up. Every night for months, I'd stare at my bed sheets. Maybe if I cut them the right way, I could do it myself. Or maybe my toothbrush, if I broke off the end, then sharpened it. He paused, while doing all he could to choke back the tears. Don't worry about it. You're safe now, Gloria carefully interrupted, while hugging him. To be continued. If you like what you hear, please like, share, or subscribe.